Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mike, and in today's video, I'll be showing you everything new with the 5.0 version of Google Keyboard. So this update will be rolling out very shortly. I was able to get it a bit early here, but in this video, I'll be showing you all the highlight features of the 5.0 update to Google Keyboard. So let's go ahead, jump in, and take a look. So the first visual difference that you may be noting here is we now have the option to turn on a key border for the keyboard. Now I personally like this because before in the Google keyboard you weren't able to really see where one key ended and the other one began and that ended up in having a lot of typos in your messages. Now you have the option to turn on a border around your keys so you can see that there is a gray background and then each key is white. Now I personally like this coming from an iPhone. I was an iPhone user I'd say for the last five years and just recently switched over to Android. I was enjoying the Google keyboard except the one thing I didn't like about it was the keys, the letters rather, were just placed on a background and you couldn't really tell uh, where one key ended and one key began. So now with this update I really like how you can turn on a border around the keys so it really distinguishes each key uh, from the other. So the next change here is you now have the option to get to shortcuts other than just numbers. And what I mean by that is, before on the keyboard you could hold down T to get 5 or Y to get 6, but now you can hold down the other keys to get, for example, a, a dash or a percent sign or an ampersand. So it's a lot quicker to get to the keys that you use most often. If we click this more button here on the bottom left, you can see it does suggest some emojis. Uh, I don't think we can change this at this time. Hopefully, uh, as the keyboard starts to understand my typing, it'll start to suggest some emojis that it thinks uh, I might be using uh, frequently. There's also a new number button down here, so if we click this, we finally have a numeric keypad. Now, this may be useful if you're entering uh, phone numbers or dates, if you're planning a trip or something like that. So just a big keypad if you are entering a lot of numbers. But we haven't gotten to the best feature of this keyboard yet. If we go here into the settings, go preferences, you can see we now have a one-handed mode. This is what I'm really excited for because I do a lot of typing in one hand. So if we go to right-handed mode and switch back over to our keyboard, you can see that the keyboard is now smaller and I can type with one hand a lot easier. Now you can click this arrow to get it to the left to the left side if you're a left-handed person, or you can hit this enlarge button to get it back to uh, the full size. But just keep in mind when you put it back to the full size, if you want to get it back to the one-handed mode, you do have to go into the settings again and turn on uh, one-handed mode. So guys, that is everything new with the 5.0 update of Google Keyboard. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like down below. Uh, my name is Mike, and I'll see you in the next one.